We are gearing up to the 11.11 and Black Friday sale periods on AliExpress. And that can only mean one thing for us watch fans, new watch releases. I've rounded up five pieces from different price points and I think by the end of this video, you'll want to add at least a couple into your basket. If you do, they're all linked in the description below. Make sure you use as many discounts and coins as you possibly can to get the best deal. My name's Jason, I'll be your watch guy today. Let's get into it. Let's start off strong with one of our strangely named favourites. Bernie have released hit after hit, even if they are named after your weird uncle. Now they've released inner rotating bezel pieces before, but this new one really hits the mark for me. Obviously, I love that function, but this one's also packed with a solid water resistance of 200 meters. They also apply a really good loom to their pieces considering the prices. With that all being said, the real selling point to this watch is the new case design. The cushion casing is absolutely classic for me. And it really reminds me of a Seiko turtle, but with that extra upper crown. They have it available in a classic black, but they also have a really stunning yellow. And there's just something special about yellow dive pieces. It works so well with those black accents, I think. Packed with a sapphire crystal and NH35 movement and all the other solid specifications that I've already spoken about. You'd be hard pressed to find a better deal at 90 pounds. I think it's an incredible price. And remember, those sales are coming. We all know that Sam Martin make super clean, well-made, well-finished watches at a solid price. But that's not what they're going for in this latest release. They've hit us with a distressed effect dive piece. And I'm going to tell you now, I love it. Still the classic dive look, packed with an NH35 movement once again. And on the outer casing, the usual impeccable finish that we've come to expect from them. But they are giving us the polar opposite with the dial and the bezel. The green bezel option has a lovely worn effect to it. Almost like there's sun damage added on to a few little marks around the bezel. When I see vintage Rolexes and Amigas with distressed looks like a tropical dial and a worn bezel, they just absolutely scream by me. I fall in love with them so quickly, but then I see the price tag and I remember I I'm poor. The Sam Martin achieves that look, but with a much more affordable price. I do love that bezel, but my favorite feature is actually the minute track around the outer edge of the dial. It has an almost tea stained look to it, and it just shows the amount of detail that they've put into that design. That's matched with an aged loom and markings and print to the dial, including the hexagonal San Martin logo. I really do think that they've outdone themselves by releasing something pretty different to the market with this one. And it does show me that they are starting to think much more about their designs. This is one that I'd absolutely love to have on the channel and in my collection. If you wanted to pick one up, it'd set you back around 200 pounds on the bracelet. I feel like I mention this brand more and more every time I do one of these lists. Fawn have released a classic dress watch at a very reasonable price. This one homages the Paris 2024 Amiga, available in a bronze tone case, but it's also available in the stainless steel, which brings me back to the specialities that I absolutely loved. I think the stainless steel case option is an absolute classic. I know straight homages aren't always appealing to every one of us, and I understand that, but for me, and I think a lot of you, this would be a really nice addition to a collection. It's a beautiful 37 millimeter case profile, textured dial, and accompanied with a militaristic style leather band. The brushed side profile to the case, the blued hands effect, all of this just screams, pick me up. The crystal is sapphire, which is definitely a bonus for Fawn. However, this is a quartz model. However, looking at the watch overall, and then considering Western timepieces that are also packing quartz models, I think that this is a really reasonable price for what they're producing. And considering the quality of the pieces that I've had in from them in the past, I think that this one is definitely worth just under the 60 pounds that they're asking for it. Let's be honest, it's hardly anything in the watch market. I love it when a Chinese brand adds a little bit of a quirky design to an existing homage. I usually air away from Proxima 
because they really don't care which brands they go after and some of them are the smaller guys of the market and I just don't like that type of mentality. And before I get into this, this is heavily homaged from a Christopher Ward piece, a brand that I absolutely love and deserve a bulk of the admiration for this design. They have, however, added their own fun little spin to it with a keyboard design dial. Now, as Chinese models go, this one is definitely on the pricier side. It's around 200 pounds for the PT5000 variant and around 300 if you wanted to go Swiss. I do have to say, aside from the obvious inspiration of this piece, this is a very well-made watch. I've I've spoken to other reviewers who have the same model in different variants and I've handled them myself and I've got to admit they are pretty well built. They are definitely towards the higher end of the San Martin type of quality and I really haven't heard a bad word about them when it comes to the finishing and the quality of their pieces. They've packed it with all the specifications that you could really want on this watch. A sapphire crystal, a sapphire bezel insert, the higher end choice of movements and a brilliant loom signature to finish it all off. They've spent the budget really well and crafted a pretty fantastic watch. I do think that this one comes down to where you sit with your models on a homage piece. Personally, I won't be spending my own money on it and I won't be taking one in for review. It gives you something a little different to look at on one of these lists and I guess it fills a spot. We started off this video with a channel favorite. It seems only fitting to finish on one. Addy's Dive have released a follow-up to their very popular first hit, but this time around, they've opted for a much more classic look. The AD2066 still packs that fantastic sweeping hand that is provided by the VH31 movement. It has a lot of the looks of their former dress style watch, but this time they fitted it with a very minimalistic yet classy dial. Yes, they've moved on from their San June era and they've grown up a little bit, something that I'll never do. The main downside to this option is the K1 mineral crystal. However, I don't think that's a major issue considering it plays around the 40 pound mark. I said that the previous model that I reviewed was probably hands down the best budget piece that you can pick up, but this one may be coming for its crown. Considering it's more refined and sophisticated nature, I think that will only aid in the saleability of this piece. It's available in a couple of different color options. My favorite is definitely the pale green variant. I think it gives a little bit extra to the piece overall, but there are some more subdued options with the gray dial and the white dial. This one will be extremely popular throughout the sales. Let me know if it's one that you'd be picking up. Thanks for watching today, guys. You know that I love putting these lists together and I love to hear what you have to say in the comments. Tell me if I've missed anything special this month. Tell me what you're gonna be buying. I know that I need to fill up a lot of content space, so any ideas are welcome. Remember to subscribe to see more of my videos and I will see you in the next one.